it is time for the skinny and leading us off we have big news about a very big hat you know the one that Pharrell wore to the Grammys it will be displayed for all to behold at the museum in Washington DC going on display the hat that nearly broke the internet by causing a flurry of tweets and parody pictures was bought by Arby's for forty four thousand dollars on eBay and they're loaning it out for a limited time where happy fans can see it in all its glory right in our nation's capital Hmm. Who knew Arby's? That'd be quite the attraction. <laughs> it does kind of <laughs> resemble the Arby's arch, I guess. All right, next up, Katy Perry and something that could certainly be giving her reason to roar about. Check this out. The pop superstar, songstress, is topping the list of artists the NFL has now narrowed down for its Super Bowl halftime performance coming up next year, along with Rihanna and Coldplay. They were also reportedly being asked to actually pay to play, something that's never been done before. And the Wall Street Journal is reporting that league representatives approached potential performers and asked if they would be willing to contribute a portion of their post-Super Bowl tour income to the league. Or if they would make some other type of financial contribution in exchange for that halftime gig. In response, the NFL said that performers' contracts were confidential and that the only goal is to put on the best possible show. But gosh, it's had my inside my head all morning here. I can't believe they're asking them to pay we'll to have show to see up how there. that That's shakes crazy. out. Should be interesting. All right. Well, a shock tonight uh, indeed with that big news. And Breaking Bad fans can rejoice over the reunion of stars Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul. Even though the hit series has come to a close, they've come together for a video to promote the upcoming Emmy Awards. And in it, the pair plays a couple of inept pawn shop owners when they're greeted by none other than Veep star Julia Louis-Dreyfus. <laughs> She's looking to pawn the Emmy she won from her Seinfeld days. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's oh, you, yeah. you. You you need to well get a hold of yourself, and I'm I need that back. I I, I need no, that back. No, no, no. We're just about to make a deal. I can't pawn my Emmy. What, what am I? It's priceless to me. I don't. Mm. I, I need it back. Okay. She's not strapped for cash. She's on a mm. TV show. Well, cable money though. So. Tell me about it. <laughs> Cranston's character here originally wasn't interested in the Emmy since it was for a supporting role, to which Aaron Paul took issue with. All three are nominated this year's Primetime Emmy Awards taking place next Monday. That's awesome. Do you watch Veep? I have seen Veep several times. I need to catch up on it my episodes. It is a favorite. And it's a favorite. It really captures the DC. Julia uh, Louis-Dreyfus, always hilarious. She's so good. Well, next <laughs> up to a surprise reunion of sorts here in New York City. A mean girl and her old teacher ran into each other in the Big Apple, so of course they took a selfie. We're talking about Tina Fey and Lindsay Lohan. Believe it or not, it's been 10 years, a decade since the two appeared together in Fey's biting, brutal comedy about girls being bad. And Lohan is soon to be London bound. She's gearing up to make her West End stage debut in David Mamet's Speed the Plow, which of course is premiering next month. And finally, it's time to check out who is celebrating their big day today. Topping our celebrity birthday list, Robert Plant, singer from Led Zeppelin, turns 66 today. Super talented actress Amy Adams turns the big 4-0. And the amazing Spider-Man actor Andrew Garfield is 31. And singer Demi Lovato turns 22. A very happy birthday to all.